Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For today's episode, we are going to talk about camera angles, transition, shots, and the likes. When creating a video, it is very important to explore and choose the correct camera movements and angles. Otherwise, the feeling of the video may not be in tone with the content. So, to start, I will show you the camera movement. This is what you call panning. It is similar to the person's head moving from left to right. Next is tilting, fixed position, moving up and down. Next is the track shot. This is where the camera follows the subject backwards or forward. And this is what you call dollying. It is used on the surface, often on tracks, to create smooth movement. Next is zooming. Zooming makes the subject appear closer or further away from the frame. We're done with the camera movements. Next is the film shots. I'm so far away you cannot see the actor. And this is the wide shot. It shows the subject in their surrounding environment. What do you call the medium shot? It shows the subject's waist and up. This is what you call a close-up shot. This is the shot that frames the actor's face to focus on their reaction. And this is the extreme close-up. It is a tight shot that focuses on only a detail of the subject, such as eyes or lips. And this is the kind of shot. It refers to showing some parts of the subjects in detail. Now, this is a cutaway shot. It is an interruption to view something else, like this. This is a lower angle shot, which is kind of self-explanatory. And if there is a low angle shot, then there is a high angle shot. And this is the arc shot. It is a technique to circle the subject, like a semicircle or an arc. So the next time you guys watch your favorite movie, you watch out for the camera angles, transitions, shots, and effects. Who knows, maybe one day you can make your own movie. I hope you learned something about it. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Bye guys.